refuses to abandon his keys. I'm not sure that's a good thing. Yum. Bacon and egg? Is it? I don't know. We'll find out. Habanero hot sauce, heat level, very hot. You gonna try it? Yeah. Die? Yeah. Yeah. You wanna come up? Yeah, that was so spicy. We just got back from Whole Foods. I'm going to give you a quick haul of all of the things that we got. I did get quite a few things today and a few new things actually too, which is nice. But I am going to be, it's like hair is weird. Okay, anyways, don't mind the hair. Um, I will be doing, making a few like minor tweaks and changes to my diet in the next couple of weeks so i got a few things to kind of accommodate that um but yeah anyways let me just show you what i got because i'm like n not making any sense i'm ready so i'm going to actually start off over here we got like three things from air one because we went there to get breakfast burritos so i decided to pick up a few things starting with these these are English muffins that they make, but look at how big they are. They're like very fluffy looking. Um, but anyways, I got them because I read the ingredients and the ingredients are like obscene for English muffins. I've never seen English muffins with this little ingredients. It's just flour, organic sour starter, filtered water, organic olive oil, sea salt, semolina, and yeast. So, I mean... That sounds very good to me. Sometimes I literally just crave a good English muffin with some like eggs, a little bit of avocado, and of course some hot sauce. This is the Airman Organic Hot Sauce. It is habanero hot sauce. We actually tried it with our burritos. It's not that hot. It says heat level very high. It's not very hot. I would just say it's hot. But the ingredients are amazing as you can tell. And I've actually been looking for a good hot sauce lately so that's why I picked this one up. I'm kind of over sriracha. I feel like I need a little something extra or something different. Um, and then I also picked up two chocolates from Air One. I'm also doing or trying to do non-dairy chocolate and I know like basically that's just dark chocolate as opposed to milk chocolate but I've been really really trying to make sure that the ingredients on the chocolate that I get is actually good um I read on this website that the main ingredients should always be let's see if it focuses um cacao beans and sugar those are literally the only ingredients that a good chocolate should have and this one just has a couple of extras so this is organic dark chocolate which is cacao bean organic cocoa butter coconut sugar organic bananas and organic cashews because this one is in the banana cashew flavor and it is broke brooklyn born chocolate i'm very excited to try this it's paleo vegan no additives and four ingredients i'm here for this and then i also got a different flavor i got coffee hazelnut Oh, this one sounds so, so good. I'm so excited to try it. I love anything with hazelnut, and I love anything with uh, coffee. And the ingredients are essentially the same. So, I'm very excited to try these. I think they'll be very good. I also got this chocolate from Whole Foods because I got this last time, and oh, my goodness, you guys, it's amazing. The ingredients are obviously... Um, a bit on the it's like not focusing a bit on the longer side but it's fine this is gonna be like my um indulgent chocolate if you will but it is still i believe it's still dairy free and vegan so maybe just dairy free yeah it's dairy free anyways i love this chocolate it's really really good 
so that is that and then moving on all of this is from whole foods i'm going to start off right over here i've got some fruit i've got bananas i've got raspberries strawberries over here i have three champagne mangoes those are my absolute favorite mangoes ever they're so flavorful and then i've got some dates to put into smoothies this is the best thing ever to make your smoothie sweet i've got some baby romaine for salad i've got some mint i want to put this into smoothies i want to make like a chocolate mint smoothie because i love that combo i've also got some dates or not dates this is apricots so some apricots some blueberries i'm going to start having um yogurt like yogurt bowls for breakfast so i also got this coconut colt yogurt to try and this one is the oh my goodness nothing is focusing today this one is the mangoes and cream probiotic coconut yogurt and the ingredients are amazing these are all the ingredients there we go these are all the ingredients and it has a lot of probiotics um, this this yogurt is very pricey. This tiny little like bottle, I don't know if you can tell how tiny it is. Like it's I don't know, it's it's the same size as this mango. It's the same size as this mango right here. It's tiny. But this yogurt has amazing ingredients, so I really wanted to try it. It's very expensive. Um, but it's very hard to find like a good vegan yogurt that has just good quality ingredients um i didn't actually check if it has protein it only has one gram of protein you guys can't see because it's blurry but it only has one gram of protein so we'll see if i stick with it maybe potentially if it's really good because it has all those probiotics but anyways moving on i've got a ton of lemons i've been really enjoying drinking lemon water lately i just squeeze a bunch of it into cold water so it's kind of like lemonade that's really good i also got some um tomatoes for salad you guys already know the deal these are my favorite little papadou peppers they're so so yummy in a salad i just slice them right up and toss them in there then i also got something new this time for salad this is these are just like wild mushroom mix and they're just little tiny little mushrooms i love that it's gonna taste so good i also got some capers capers are really really good antioxidants for you i got some garbanzo beans for salad and i've got a huge jar of pepperoncinis. i figured i would start buying the bigger jar because i go through the small ones so fast i also got some garlic i got a huge 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 cucumber for salad mihai got pretzel buns because he's going to be making burgers for himself this week again and this one is the toronto seasoned beef burger i i always try his burger every time he makes them and they're always so so good <laughs> they're very good but anyways moving on i've got some so mihai's going to be having burgers and i'm going to be having this if you guys can see i got some wild Koch land sea bass I wanted to buy some Cajun seasoning, but I couldn't find it there, so I'm going to have to order it on Amazon. But we went to the Malibu Real Inn the other day, and I had a salad with Cajun-style Chilean sea bass, and it was so, so good. So I figured I'd try it again. It's very expensive, the sea bass, but I think I'm just going to cut it in half. That way I can have two meals. Um, but yeah, so that's that. I also got some avocados for salad. forgot to mention that. And then I've got some spaghetti from Rouse. I think that's how you pronounce it. I love this brand. I love all of their products. They're always really, really good. And of course, I've got the Arrabbiata sauce, which is our absolute favorite. It has like a nice little spice to it, like a little spicy. So it's really, really good. And I'm going to make this for dinner for us. I don't know if it's going to be today or tomorrow with this um, uncured diced pancetta. I like to put this on the pan and crisp it really really nice and then i'll boil some water for the pasta i'll make the sauce i just literally add like i don't even know what i add just like a little bit of salt pepper whatever this actually like you can just make it on its own and taste delicious i just heat it up on the pan to make it hot and then i mix it with the pasta pancetta bomb anyways moving on i've got some coconut milk this week i'm gonna make some smoothies I'm planning to making to I'm planning on making some smoothies and I recently got Kenzie Burke's 21 day reset and the majority of all of her smoothies are coconut milk based so I got that I also got some coconut water I always add coconut water to like my chia seed parfaits 
and I also put it in smoothies. Um, what else do I have to show you? I've got like a ton of drinks. I think that's literally the last last bit of this. I've got a La Colombe cold brew. These are really good. And then I've got these new healthy booch pops. I usually always get like the regular large kombucha bottles, but these are new, I think. I figured I would try it. This is the lemon and lime. And then I've got the palm berry, but I think they'll be really good. And then I also got some San Pellegrinos because I always like to have this after dinner. I've got the diet, or not the diet, um, diet, yeah, what is it called? Um, caffeine free cola Zevias. These are my absolute favorite. So we got one of those, and then Mihai got himself this large trilogy kombucha. So that concludes this little hole. I hope you loved it. Also, this was right in front of my face, yet yeah, I failed to show it to you guys. This is just the Lesser Evil Grain Free Paleo Puff Snack. I figured I'd have nice a nice little snack roll on the days that I'm feeling snackish. The ingredients are all really good. The macros are really good. And it is vegan, grain free, gluten free. It's paleo friendly, grain free, vegan, all of that good stuff. So yeah, snack roll. I should have gotten two because it's so like they're so spread out but it's fine they're still beautiful and they actually smell really really good we just came home we went to the beach um we went to the same beach that we went to yesterday like i said it's one of my new favorite beaches i don't know why i really really like it i think it's just because i haven't been there um we stayed there for i want to say like two hours and then um we went back to Whole Foods because I needed some essentials, okay? I needed essentials that I forgot to get earlier. I got some watermelon and a Mai Tai because Whole Foods has like pre-made Mai Tais. And when we were at the store, I was like, should I get it? Nah, I won't get it. I'm going to get a bottle of wine instead. But then when I was at the beach, I was like, I need a Mai Tai. Um... Anyways, we went back to Whole Foods. I got a big old thing of watermelon, the Mai Tai. I'm going to eat the watermelon now. We actually like dug in already. It's really, really good. I, you know, sometimes you get like pre-cut watermelon and it tastes nasty or just like a cucumber. This one is not like that. This one tastes great. So we're doing, we're gonna eat that. And I'm going to make us the Mai Tais just in a glass with some ice. Mihai is showering. Um, Tonight is just going to be a really good, chill night. We've had an amazing weekend. I love weekends like this where it's just like we're out and about. We go on hikes. We go to the beach. Like literally the beach is my favorite place ever. Um, we don't typically do that. I feel like our weekends are usually like Mihai really likes to work a lot. He's just a workaholic. So it's really, I really try hard to get him out of the house because... He works all week and then he wants to work more during the week and I'm just like no we need we need a break you need a break so so anyways I'm going to put up my hair we're going to have a very chill evening like I mentioned um, I want to meal prep a few things for the week just like minor things I feel like you're very high there we go um, now it feels like we're just we're just chatting here there we go so i'm going to turn on some harry potter right now because i just harry potter just brings so much joy into my life that is the movie that i always turn on when i just want to feel good so i'm going to turn that on mihai does have some work he's gonna do tonight and i actually have to edit the video that is coming live tomorrow i think i'm going to upload the um what I eat in a day video. I've been waiting on this one. This one's a good one. So gonna edit the what I eat in a day video. I'm going to do a little bit of meal prep. Um, I think I mentioned that I will be doing um, some minor changes into my diet for the next few weeks. So I'm going to 
meal prep. What am I going to meal prep? I'm going to take all of the veggies that I got and just um, put them into like Tupperware and things like that. I'm going to pre-cook some lentils, I think, and have um, a little side of that. Just because I've noticed that every time I go to make lunch, it takes me, it doesn't take me forever, but it takes me a significant amount of time that I could use to work or do something more productive. So I'm going to meal prep some things, set myself up for success with food. Um, and what else did I want to do? Tonight, I'm going to make Mihai's favorite dish and my favorite dish, actually. It is the, it's kind of like a knockoff of the Amatruciana, I think that's how you pronounce it, pasta from Wovo, uh, which is a, one of our favorite restaurants here in LA. It is going to be so good. We, we love it. So the pasta, the original pasta from the restaurant has this delicious sauce in it. I don't know if it's a rabiata. I feel like it might be both. I don't know. But anyways, they have guanciale in it and it's so, so good. I don't know where I can get guanciale. I've never even seen it in the store. So we use pancetta. So I'll probably make that for dinner tonight. It'll be a little Italiano meal and I might show it so that you guys can make it too. It's so good. Oh, it literally, that's what I would imagine being in Italy would feel like. Just eating bowls of delicious pasta. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> and drinking tons of wine. Um, which, by the way, today I got a new wine from Whole Foods. That is the exact same wine that we drink at, or I drink at Wovo. And I'm so excited. It's the Montepulciano, I believe. I think. Yeah, and then... After I edit my video for tonight, I'm going to call it a day with work. I did prep and like make my goals and everything that I typically do on Sundays yesterday, which was really nice because now I feel like the evening is mine. Um, and then I made like a little negotiation with Mihai. I said, I get to choose the movie that we watch tonight while, while we have dinner. And then we can watch one of his like stand-up things because he's obsessed with stand-up Com comedies or whatever the stand-up comedian people he's obsessed with those i can't get into it i like kevin hart but i don't think there's anybody else that i really like enjoy but kevin hart is just you can't not like kevin hart kevin hart is so funny like he breathes and it's funny um but anyways i'm going to turn on harry potter i'm going to get to meal prepping making a mai tai i'm so excited Or like it makes it's away. Mm -hmm. My ties are donezo. They look beautiful. I just added some blueberries, some straws, and a little bit of mint for good looks. Okay, Mihai. Cheers. How is it? Is that good? good. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, super good. Is that something? Yep. Taste test. Pour over ice and enjoy. Yeah. That's, that's strong. Okay, meal prep time.
see, what did I prep? I prepped the chickpeas or gambanzo beans. I prepped cut up onion or sliced up onion for salad. I prepped all of the kale for salad. It's super easy because this way I'll just be able to grab and go. And I prepped some goji berries for my breakfast. I prepped um, blueberries. I just washed them and put them in like a container. And then I cut up all of the strawberries. I always cut up, like, every time I have breakfast or a meal with berries and I have strawberries, I always cut them. So I figured this would be significantly easier because now I don't have to, like, get out the cutting board, get a knife, cut, <laughs> wash, all of that stuff. So now everything is prepped. I also uh, washed and prepped some raspberries as well. And oh, I also made, like, a little baggie of limes cut up limes or sliced limes and lemon I typically like to squeeze my lemon into cold water and just kind of drink it like a lemonade but I had a few limes that were going bad so I figured I'd slice them up in the next couple of days I'll try to put them into any drinks that I have I'm going to go start editing my video for tomorrow and then after that I'm going to make dinner on the meal prep as you saw I am currently editing the video that is going live tomorrow it is a what I eat in a day video I love those videos they're always so much fun I made our bowl of pasta as you heard Mihai thinks it is a 12 out of 10 it's so so good I did not show you guys how I make it but if you're interested let me know in the comments down below and I will make a video about it because this is literally the best pasta ever. I'm going to eat this up. I'm actually going to, we were originally going to watch a movie. As I mentioned earlier, I negotiated with Mihai, but I have to work on the video for tomorrow morning. It's still not done. So I'm going to work on that while I eat. Well, first I'm gonna watch a little bit of um, Natalie Barbu's first week of work, week in my life video. Um, that's one of her super old videos. It's 2018. So I'm gonna watch a little bit of YouTube to kind of just enjoy my meal. <laughs> and then I will finish editing the video for tomorrow. It's going to be really good. So I hope you have watched it because it'll be out by the time this video comes out. Um, but anyways, I believe I will be ending this vlog here. I don't have much else going on tonight. We're just going to eat, do a little bit of work, and then we're going to um, finish our night off with a movie. I'm definitely going to convince Mihai to watch the movie that I originally wanted to watch, which is Eat, Pray, Love, <laughs> for I think like the gazillionth time, but whatever. Um, anyway thank you so 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 much for watching i hope you guys loved it and if you did please give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye